I'm Darren Kinder and our product review today is the Terex 4 V-Twin 800. And this is a, you know, a little bit different than some of the other machines. It's a nice crossover. It's a four-seater, but it's not super bulky and it's got good power with the 800. Come on, let me show you all the cool features on it. The Terex 4 wasn't probably the most powerful machine that I've been in, but it definitely gets the job done. It's got plenty of power. When I first got in the machine, I kind of thought it might be a little tippy, but after we got it out on the trail and started racing it up and down the road and stuff, it never felt like the tires were going to come off the ground. Very stable and a lot of fun to drive. One of the first things we noticed on the machine is that it has a very large radiator right here in the front. So it's picking up nice clean air, and keeping the machine cool. It also, this is where it picks up the air for the uh, engine. Now under the hood, there you can easily see where you have your air filter, your fan and your radiator, all of this stuff very easy to get to. And you'll see that you have the Fox Podium shocks right here, very easy to adjust them just the way you like them. Preset, your load, all that kind of stuff. You can dial the machine right in. As you come back here, you can see the Terex comes standard with four doors on it. They're, they look small, but they're actually just the right size. They're easy to open, and it creates a big enough compartment to get in the machine easily. They've also put these little sidebars on the machine and padded them, so you've got something to kind of keep you into the machine, plus a nice seat belt with it. Now here in the back, the, the trunk area is a little bit smaller than some of the other machines, but it's still plenty big enough to put a, a full-size cooler back here and most of your gear to go out playing for the day. And the machine isn't as long, so you're not dragging the bottom as much. It's a little bit easier to handle because it's not such a big machine. The other thing I'd like to point out here in the back is that they use a wet brake system on it. So instead of using disc brakes out on the wheels, that when they get wet and muddy, they don't work as well, they actually have a, a wet disc that's inside a housing and that thing's always grabbing, it's sealed, you don't have to worry about it, it's right on the drive line. Now up here in the driver's compartment, you have a, a good handhold for your passenger to hang on, also one higher, a large glove box that uh, you can put quite a few things in it that opens very nicely, a digital display that it has a clock, hour meters, fuel mileage, has all, you know, all the digital stuff involved in it. Then you have some pretty simple uh, switches up here on the dash. You've got two-wheel drive to four-wheel drive, and then you can lock in your differential. It does have a gate shifter here with uh, low, high, and, and reverse on it. I do wish it had a park, but you know they, they put a very heavy-duty park brake on it, which is hooked up to that wet braking system, so it'll lock it in place wherever you go. Now this is one place you should always look when you go out to buy a new machine, and that is underneath it, because on this one you can see they put full armor plating all the way front to back, including under the rear differential. Now in 2014, the Terex went to an 800 engine, which is actually a 783, and basically what they did is long stroke the motor, got a little bit more horsepower out of it, but it actually gets better fuel economy, and it runs a little bit cooler, so it's, it's kind of a nice combination they've got going now. So it's a full, they call it an 800 now. If you'd like to check one of these out, get into Big Boys Toys in Ogden and talk to Derek or Steve and they'll be glad to show you one. I'm Darren Kinder, we'll see you next time. Hey guys, if you like that video, you're gonna wanna watch all of our other AYL videos. You're gonna wanna like it, you're gonna wanna share it, and you're gonna wanna subscribe, right? See all the buttons right here? <laughs> this is what you're gonna wanna do, click, right? Click, click, click. Click on them, because we have some really cool videos, all kinds of behind the scenes stuff, bloopers of Alicia crashing and stuff. Shh. Why are you gonna sell me out like that, Steven? <laughs> so you wanna click all of these things and subscribe to our channel, because At Your Leisure is awesome, and uh, we'll see you here for more videos.